Coming at y'all live again. This time it's from no podcast. Shout out to the Golden Gems podcast, though. It's from a booth. Really <laughs> the main thing, the these main rhymes thing. and these words been long overdue. It's been way overdue. But it's okay, though. I'm back now. Hey, we, we, we live? Can y'all see me? How I look? <laughs> I know y'all can see me. Hey, welcome back to the Golden Gems Podcast, my beautiful people. Yes, it's Sports Talk with Relly today. And yes, we are live. We are live. And guess what? Hey, I missed you. Yeah, you know, your boy, I have more graduations to go to. I also, you know, it's a way spending time with my family. I really don't like to record and do too much when I'm around my family. But, you know, at the same time, I did take care of business. Make sure. Make sure y'all tune in to Sunday. This Sunday, yes. Guess what? I got a very, very special episode coming for y'all. The very first interview on the Golden Gems podcast is coming this Sunday. I had a great, great interview with this couple that are entrepreneurs themselves. And, you know, it's going to be exciting, man. It's going to be really exciting to, you know, just let y'all see the great conversations that I will have and I will be doing in the future. And also, you know, like, I hope y'all get a lot of gems from it because we talked a lot about a great, great, we talked about a lot of great, great things. A lot of great things. And I hope, you know, y'all tune in. So make sure this Sunday, I'm going to premiere it too. So this Sunday, Make sure y'all look out for it. I'll be posting what time on my social medias and things like that. And then also I'll be posting a promo soon. So make sure you just tune in, you get ready, and, hey, we're going to continue to take this podcast forward. Thank y'all for tuning in again, and let's get straight into it. Sports Talk with Relly. Today, of course, we're talking about the N- 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 NBA Finals. Yeah. Your boy was right, <laughs> at least on one team. I did pick the Heat to go against <laughs> Golden State, but Boston ended up pulling it out. I can't hate. I ain't a hater. It is what it is. Boston, you earned it. Them young guns, they came, they saw, they conquered. I am proud of them. But at the same time, I am happy, too. I am so happy we actually got games that came down to the wire. Jimmy Buckets went crazy in game six, and then he damn near a – brought him back and had a major comeback in game seven. It came down to him pulling up at the three with 16 seconds left in the game in game seven, man. And, hey, if it would have went in, we'll be having a different discussion right now. But he ended up missing it. And a lot of people, you know, had their own, you know, things to say about that shot. But at the end of the day, like, hey, I want the ball in my best player's hand. I want him to go make a play. He's been making plays all series long, all – Year long, he's been the best player undisputedly for the past couple years on their team. So I want the ball in his hands. And if you take that shot, I'm going to live and die with that shot. So Jimmy Butler, hey, kudos to you, bro. Continue to go forward. Continue to be great. And, hey, keep taking that team to great heights, man. And y'all will be back next year with vengeance. But next year, I think y'all going to go against the Bucks. That's my early prediction. Uh, the Eastern Conference Championship next year. Yes, I'm predicting it now. Bucks versus Heat next year. Very, 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 very <laughs> early prediction. But, hey, we're going to see. We're going to see. But, you know, back to the topic at hand, Miami and Boston, hey, that was a great, great series. It went to game seven. Nobody expected Miami to win in game six. I wish I really would have bet. You feel me? I should, I should, man, I should have put some money on that game. But you feel me? It is what it is. Hey, Miami, hey, hey. You proved people wrong in game six, and then you almost proved people wrong in game seven because everybody was counting y'all out. Everybody was saying y'all was going to take an L. Even Draymond said after they won, they won before game seven, you know, uh, happened. And Draymond said after they beat the Mavs that they were going to be playing the Celtics. And then Tucker, who's on – Miami, he was like, yeah, thanks, Draymond. And I know they use that as motivation to win that game six. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, next year they come back for vengeance again and remember that still. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, man, like, it was a great series. 
they was playing, you know, the number one defensive team in the NBA. I mean, come on. You got to have some respect for the Boston Celtics and what they did. And then, like, that's even going to be an interesting matchup. you going against, you know, with Golden State, they're going against the number one defense in the Boston Celtics. And the Boston Celtics are really going against, in my opinion, the number one power powerful offense with Golden State. Because, I mean, with Golden State, you got Poole, you got Klay Thompson, you got Curry. <sighs> And you got Draymond. Draymond be making plays out there. I don't care what nobody say. So you got a handful. And you got Andrew Wiggins, too. Come on now. Go to state. They ready for war, man. So it's going to be interesting to see how these finals go. Man, I'm excited for them. But, you know, at the end of the day, I really wish it would have been Miami that pulled it out. But you can't get everything you want. You know, that's not life. You feel me? And, you know, with life, you know, everybody – you know, I hope y'all doing great out there. I hope you are, you know, succeeding in your, you know, your life and succeeding in your journeys. Never get discouraged. Always persevere. Always go through the battles and, you know, always come out a winner. You feel me? And at the end of the day, I'm excited, you know, just to see how these NBA finals, you know, go. I got Golden State winning. <laughs> yes. It's going to go to six games. And... Golden State in six, period. I feel like Golden State going to come in, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and them boys, they going to submit their legacy by just getting the Boston Celtics up out of there. It's going to be a hard-fought series. Don't get me wrong. It's going to come down to a wire in a few games, but I'm taking Golden State to win it all. Boston, y'all been battle-tested, though. Y'all have knocked off one of the best players in the world in Kevin Durant. Then you went ahead and knocked off another great player in Giannis Antetokounmpo. I took to Kumpo, Mo, same thing. You feel me? <laughs> Judge your mama, not me. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but, hey, at the end of the day, it's a great thing to see, you know, that Boston has overcome battles. And they just knocked off the heat, too. So, you know, they're knocking off some of the, I say, top 10 players in the NBA. They just knocked off with KD, Kyrie, Giannis, and then you had Jimmy Buckets. Yeah, y'all, y'all doing y'all thing. So they've been battle tested. Golden State, on the other hand, they kind of had it sweet a little bit. They had Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jokic on the Nuggets first round, and they went against Memphis and John Morant second round, and then they just went against the Mavs. And then with John Morant, he got injured and he ain't finished a series. And then Nikola Jokic, I mean, them boys, they was out Murray and a couple other their players. So I mean, you know, like Golden State, you had kind of a sweet path you know so far and then the Mavs ain't give y'all that much trouble so it's gonna be interesting to see like Boston they've been battle tested but are they willing to you know and to sustain their their level of toughness their level of grit that they've been playing with throughout this playoffs do they have another series you know in them to go ahead and finish the Golden State Warriors off and win that championship I mean we're gonna see I feel like it's gonna go to game six I feel like the Warriors are going to get them up out of there, but I feel like Boston Celtics in the games that they do win, they're going to win them, you know, convincingly. And then, too, they're going to win them with tough and with toughness and just, you know, the grit that they play with. You feel me? Because they bring a different level of physicality to the game that I respect. And it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting. You know, you got them light-skinned killers out there, you know, on the West Coast. And then, you know, you coming to the East Coast, coming from the East Coast, I just say, you know, you got them Boston Celtics and, uh, and hey, that physicality. So we're going to see. It's going to be a great matchup. You know, I'm proud of Golden State, proud of Boston for, you know, getting there. And now I just want some good basketball. And I want to see games come down to the final bucket. So, hey, you feel me? Hey, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. But moving on, hey, that's NBA talk. Comment y'all teams below. You feel me? If you got the Boston Celtics, let me know. And let's see who wins. If you want to make a bet, hey, my pocket's steep. So, come on, talk to me. Or you go and go to state like me. Let me know. Hey, comment below. But. Like I said, switching gears, we're going to talk about the NFL power rankings. Yes, we're going to talk about the NFL power rankings. You feel me? At the end of the day, I love talking about the NFL. NFL, you know, is my pride and joy. You feel me? Like, I've been watching the NFL for years now, and every year I really pay attention to the power rankings. They don't mean shit, in my opinion, but it's always cool to talk about. And we're going to go from bottom to top. So we're only doing the top 15 teams that came 
uh, within the latest power rankings that ESPN put out. So we're going to start at 15. At 15, they had, you know, my team, the Pats, Pat Nation out here represent. You feel me? Yes, you feel me? I'm sorry. I'm a Patriots fan. It is what it is. All right, I love the Patriots. I love what they represent. I love everything about them. And, you know, we're going to see if Bill Belichick can really take that team and get them over the hump. They're coming in at number 15, you know, on the power rankings. And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, I got faith in them. I got faith in Bill Belichick. I got faith in what they're going to do. But you got Miami in that conference. The Jets are looking pretty good, too, with their acquisitions. And then you got Buffalo, too, in that conference. So it's going to be a tough-ass conference this year because you have great teams in there. You got Tua. He just got another piece of Tyreek Hill. That defense is coming along. You got Buffalo. Buffalo is my pick. We're going to touch on Buffalo again later in this episode. But Buffalo is eight. That's my thing. Hey. That's my sleeper team this year. I feel like they're going to get over the hump. I feel like Josh Allen and them boys are going to really do their thing and do some damage in the league this year. So it's going to be interesting. But coming in at number 15, you got the Patriots. Then after that, you got, you know, a team that I hate it because you feel me. I'm from Chicago, the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. They coming in at number 14. Hey. Y'all got Matty Ice now. Y'all got Matt Ryan. Y'all actually got a quarterback. It is what it is. So what are y'all going to do with it? You know, y'all got a good defense. The defense is solid. Y'all picking up some other pieces. Y'all even got one of my homies who I played with, Pop Warner with, you know, early early years. I just got him, you know, as an undrafted free agent. So I, I'm hoping he make the team and he go ahead and do his thuggy SODU Dallas. And also, too, man, like with the Colts, I mean, like, hey, y'all got the pieces. All y'all going to get over the hump and win a couple playoff games. It's going to be interesting to see. And all y'all Peyton Manny lovers, all y'all Colts lovers, you feel me? I went to school in Indiana, right in Indianapolis, right down the street from the stadium. So, hey, y'all ain't going to do shit. <laughs> I'm just playing, but real talk. I'm dead serious. I'm not playing. Let's see. Prove me wrong. But coming in at number 13, you got Oakland. And with Oakland, man, I feel like Oakland going to really do their thing this year. I feel like they've had a lot of controversy, of course, with John Gruden and, you know, change of coaches. And over the years, they've just, you know, haven't had the best luck. They lose stadiums and things like that. But I finally feel like this might be the year where they at least win one one more playoff game. Because I think they made the playoffs last year. They ain't win first round knockout. But I feel like they're going to really, you know, go ahead and do their thing this year. And I got them. I mean, they got a solid defense. And. They got a couple more pieces on offense now, you know, to help Derek Carr. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And then 13 coming in at, well, actually 12 coming in at 12. Russell Wilson and Broncos. I skipped. I know I skipped one. Yeah, Russell. Oh, no, I didn't. Russell Wilson and the Broncos coming in at 12. And with them, I feel like, you feel me, the Broncos are going to be a team to watch because I feel like, you know, Russell Wilson, he's been wanting out of Seattle for a minute now. He's been wanting out. So you finally got your wish. You finally out. So what are you going to do? Let's see if you going to put together not only 10 games because every year for like the past two, three years, you've been in the running for MVP for the first 10 games because you've been stellar. But are you going to put 17 games together? Are you going to finish it out? Are you going to really get over the hump, you know, as an individual yourself and carry that team, you feel me, to the playoffs and do some damage in the playoffs. It's going to be interesting to see what the Broncos do. And then, you know, coming in at number 11, you got the Tennessee Titans. With the Titans, man, hey, Ryan Tannehill, they paid you, bro. You got paid. So what are you going to do now? You feel me? Like, come on. At the end of the day, you mad because they drafted a younger quarterback or another quarterback and you don't really want to teach him anything. Of course, he's going to still learn from him. I don't think, you know, they kind of was taken out of context a little bit. You know, what Ryan telling Hill said that he really wasn't going to teach him anything and he'll learn like on his own and whatnot. He didn't really want to be a mentor. But at the end of the day, like Ryan, like you can't get mad at your organization grabbing another quarterback because it's like, shit, what the hell have you done? You feel me? I haven't made it past the second round in a couple of years now, so. Talk to me. Prove me wrong. Come on, Ryan. You used to be a wide receiver. I've been messing with you since you was in Miami. All right? You came out, you know, you, you switched transition to quarterback. Miami, you know, made you, you know, hey, they got you right. Got you up out of there. Now you with Tennessee. You know you you had the comeback player of the year. You, you've been doing your thing. So what you going to do this year? Show me a little something, man. I got faith in you, Ryan. But, you know, let's move on. Number 10 coming in is – 
the Baltimore Ravens. And with the Ravens, I mean, I see Lamar Jackson being in the MVP conversation again. I feel like that defense is definitely going to get better. And I feel like they also got that offensive line a little bit better for Lamar Jackson, too. So that way he can, you know, sit in the pocket a little bit more. And, of course, you know, he'll do his damage, you know, with his legs, too. But I feel like, you know, with Baltimore, it's going to be interesting to see what Lamar Jackson does because I feel like he has to get over the hump. He has to get over that hump and he has to go forward, man. He has to make that leap and take them to the AFC Championship game. Like, come on now. Like, hey, you've been in the league for like going on four or five years now. Well, I think it's four years, but hey, come on. You got the MVP. Come on, submit, submit your legacy. I think you only won play one playoff game. So come on, put that work in, continue to be great, and shit, get over that hump, man, and take your team to the AFC Championship game and shit, win that motherfucker. Shit, I got faith in you, Lamar. But moving on to number nine, <laughs> my boy Jimmy G, are you going to be starting quarterback this year? Or is they going to bring that young gunner, Trey Lance in, and you feel me? Go ahead, get you up out of there, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, you did your thing last year. You know, you got your team over the hump. You got them to the NFC Championship game. And I really feel like at the end of the day with Jimmy Garoppolo, he's a great quarterback in my opinion. But I feel like, you know, he has a ceiling. You feel me? He has a ceiling, and he's hit that ceiling. I really don't see him getting any better. I don't really see him getting any worse. I feel like he'll he's a good NFL starter. You feel me? And he can be a good NFL starter for a good NFL team. But, you, you know, like, he did get them to – I can't discredit him for this. He did get them to a Super Bowl, you know, a little bit ago. But the NFL is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately type sport. So – what have you done for me lately, Jimmy? Come on, man. What are you going to do? Come on. You're, hey, you're, you're Bill Belichick. Hey. Bill, Bill taught you a lot. You're Bill Belichick. Man. You're Bill Belichick, man. Use what he taught you. And get over that hump. And be successful. And take them boys back to the NFC Championship game. I don't see it happening, but I got faith in you, Jimmy. <laughs> Talk to me. What are you going to do, 49ers? Are you going to, you know, go ahead, you going to keep this man in there, or are you going to go ahead and trade him out for Trey Lynch? Trey Lynch is sitting there waiting for his turn, Mike. He's been waiting all day for his turn. Are you going to keep him in there, or are you going to give Jimmy the bounce? Jimmy, come on. What you going to do? Let me know. But <laughs> that was a horrible accent, by the way. I usually do it better, but it is what it is. Coming in at number eight, they shouldn't even be in the top 15, damn in the top 20. What the hell? The Dallas Cowboys, get, get them up out of there. I don't got no faith in the Cowboys, man. All y'all Cowboys fans, you got Dak out here talking about how y'all, you feel me, going to prove people wrong? Prove who wrong? The only people that think y'all going to do something this year is the Dallas Cowboys fans. That's it. Y'all fans. That's it. Because I don't believe it. I don't know why y'all top 10 in power rankings. That's that's ridiculous in my opinion. I mean, at the end of the day, hey, I'm not even going to. Hey, y'all Cowboys fans, y'all do this every year. Every, every, every year. It's the same thing with y'all. You ain't going to do nothing, my friend. I don't believe it. When I see it, I'll believe it. But until then, until then, I, until then, I won't believe nothing, nothing from you Cowboys fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sue me. I don't know how y'all top 10. Maybe because of Jerry Jones do all that talking, always trying to convince people, yeah, this is the year. We got the best talent around. Y'all always got the good, best talent. What have y'all done? Y'all haven't made the playoffs. Nah. Is it 25 years? Nah, it's not the playoffs in 25 years. Y'all haven't won a championship in like 25 plus years. Y'all ain't made it to the – that's it. Y'all ain't made it to the NFC championship game in 25 years. That was the correct – I corrected myself. It was an NFC championship game. We ain't seen y'all in 10, 25 years. 10 to 25. Shoot, since I was there, since I was born, man, I ain't seen, we ain't seen y'all, man. But yeah, try to convince us this every year. Shouldn't be in the top ten. Moving on, man. Fuck it, man.
coming in at number seven. You got the Chargers. This is another sleeper team. I feel like they got the pieces. They got the pieces. Justin Herbert, he's, hey, he got a gun on him. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to see. We're going to see what the Chargers do. I'm interested because they got a good defense, but some of the players on their defense can't really stay healthy. So it's going to be interesting to see if this is the year they can stay healthy, if this is the year they can actually get over that hump. I got faith in them a little bit. Not, not a lot, but I got a little faith in the Chargers. I feel like they'll go make it at least to the second round, second round of playoffs, second round of AFC playoffs. Like, I got I got faith in the Chargers, man. I'm going to see. Let's see what the Chargers do. I feel like y'all going to really, you know, have a comeback season. And, you know, I see y'all at least one in one playoff game. So, that's all the Chargers, man. Now, you got number six. This is where it gets interesting. You got Cincinnati. They were just in the playoffs last year. I mean, not in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl last year. Like, as I always say, judge your mama, not me. It is what it is. Hey, I'm sorry. But they was in the Super Bowl last year, man. And, hey. At the end of the day, I feel like they're going to be right in the running again, man. They got the pieces. They got a lot of people coming back. They actually made a couple moves in the offseason. They got the weapons on offense. Young, too. And then the defense is really coming together. Last year, the defense kind of was up and down. But, you know, during the playoffs, they ramped it up. And I feel like, you know, hey, you made it to the Super Bowl, so – you at least got to have some good, you know, going on. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the AFC. Because in the AFC, you still got the Chiefs, who we're about to touch on here in a little bit. You still, of course, got the um, – not the Rams, but you got the Bills and a few other teams, man. So I feel like it's going to be interesting. I'm going with the Bills playing – you know, this is early, very, very early, 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 early prediction. But I'm going with the Bills playing against the Chiefs. In the AFC Championship, I feel like Patrick Mahomes, even though he, you know, without his best target in Tyreek Hill, I still feel like he's going to do his thing, man. I still got faith in Patrick Mahomes. I respect him as a quarterback. I don't really like him per se, you feel me, as an individual, but I respect him. I respect his talent, you feel me, is, is impeccable. I mean, he's one of the best in the league. He's going to always be in an MVP discussion. So, hey, that's all you, Patrick, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if you can do it without your boy Tyreek. Hey, he in Miami now. So what you going to do? Got to prove a lot of people wrong, man. Come on. I'm waiting. I want to see what you do. But now, coming in at number five, this team, they shouldn't even be top five. But, you know, the Packers, Green Bay. I don't even like y'all like that, man, if I'm being real. Hey, Shot town Nation. Hey, we coming for vengeance this year. Y'all just gave up y'all best piece, your savior. Devontae Adams is he over there in Oakland now. Finna go crazy with Derek Carr. That's why I got them winning a couple playoff games. Derek Carr got him a weapon now. Aaron, what you gonna do? Your defense is all right. But what you gonna do on offense? You gonna be in the MVP discussion again? You gonna win another MVP? Hell no. Nah. Cause you don't got no pieces, man. And you gotta go against the Bears. Detroit coming. And Minnesota coming. Hey. hey. Hey, you heard it here first, man. Heard it here first. Packers ain't doing shit next year. Next topic, man. I don't even like talking about them boys, man. Make my blood pressure go up, man. Gets my gets me hot. <laughs> I'm bullshitting. But hey, man, next next topic. Coming in at number four. You got the Chiefs. We already kind of touched on the Chiefs a little bit. With, with the Chiefs, man, I feel like they're gonna really do their thing this year. You know, I feel like Patrick Mahomes, he's going to have a lot to prove without his best target, you know, that's he's had in his career as far as Tyreek Hill goes. And it's going to be interesting to see what he does without him. You know, a lot of people are kind of down him a little bit, but, I mean, you can't dispute his arm talent. You can't dispute what he's done to that team and that program. So, you know, I got the Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs really doing their thing this year. And then coming in number three is my pick to win the Super Bowl next year. <laughs> hey, that's so the Tom and them boys. Hey, Tom, I need a ring for all four, all eight of these fingers. I was going to say four. Judge your mama, not me. But all four of these fingers, I need a ring for each one of them. Go on here, get number eight. And win MVP. That's my MVP next year, too. Yeah, I said it. Going to be 45. 45. Going on 46. Winning MVP. 
best player in the league, most valuable player, man. I see it happening, man. And you're going to ride off into the sunset, and you're going to have eight rings, undisputed goal. You're already undisputed goal, but you're going to be even more undisputed. You feel me? I saw the undisputed with Skip and Shannon. But, yeah. <laughs> I got the Buccaneers winning it, man. Early prediction. I got them going against um, the Rams again. I got them going against the Rams in a uh, NFC showdown matchup to go to the Super Bowl. And I got them beating the Rams. Early, early prediction. I got, of course, in the AFC, I got, like I said, the Bills playing the Chiefs. Early, 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 early predictions. But hey, let's see if I, you know, let's see if it, let's see if it happens. Now go moving on to number two, top two. Hey, you got the Rams coming in at number two. Hey, them boys just did their thing. They won that last year. Hey, they only been in Los Angeles for a little bit, man. They already winning ch- winning ships. And they got that boy here, Donald. Come, man, he was contemplating retirement, but he said he like winning a little too much. I respect it. Go ahead, win you another ring, man. Ain't too much to say about them. Odell, let's see where you land this offseason. I hope you damn near stay there. I feel like you're a great, great piece for them. Robert Woods is coming back. They're going to have even a couple more pieces with Coop, too. They Man, the Rams are going to come back for vengeance next year. That's why I got them going against the Bucks. It's going to be interesting to see. But I think they well deserve it on the number two spot. But the Bills coming in at number one. Buffalo Bills, I already told y'all about them, man. I told you they got the defense, they got the offense. Josh, I don't know. Are you gonna be able to take them boys over the hump? Are you gonna be able to do it? I got faith in you. You can do it. I'm rooting for you, my friend. I'm rooting for you. So I already talked about the Bills uh, earlier. So hey, those are the power rankings. Top fifteen Cowboys. Yo, hey, y'all shouldn't be nowhere near it. I don't know why who Jerry Jones paid at ESPN to put you on the top 15, but it's okay. But yes, you know, that's my NBA and NFL talk. Next week, I got the MLB talk coming too. Next week, we touching on it all. So make sure you tune in for that. This has been another episode of Sports Talk with Relly. Thank you for tuning in. And guess what? You on the Golden Just Podcast, baby. Make sure you like, subscribe, send it to your friends, send it to your family. And always come back for more. And guess what? Ha, we out. It ain't go that far that time. But next time, I'm going to push it a little bit harder. <laughs> but we out. See